Hi, it's Hannes, and this morning I read an article by Magnus Heistek, and I think it's uh, interesting and important. And I'd like to add my little two cents and maybe give you an alternative uh, uh, to this. So uh, let's go to the article first of all. Um, he says, Elder JSE has destroyed your wealth, uh, the facts laid bare. And I agree with him. I, I do not agree that it's necessarily the JSE. I think the, the companies here in South Africa tries their utmost best. I think the government is buggering up this, this economy uh, big, big time. Uh, they want to incorporate what we call a socialist, communist story. I'm a capitalist, and for that reason, I do not agree. Of course, there's millions of South Africans that do agree, and they do think that we should uh, take the country to root. But if you are serious about your retirement and financial freedom and financial future, uh, I think uh, perhaps it's time that you should take uh, note of what people like Magnus is saying. Um, be careful to, 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 to put your, your future in the hands of this government and what they're going to do with the economy. Right, um, two or three things that I think is important uh, that I'd like to bring to your attention and then I'm going to add my part to it. Uh, he says here that there's an investment uh, message, financial tsunami on its way. It sounds uh, <laughs> bad, uh, but perhaps it, it is as bad as he says. And uh, the best part about this is if you, if you in, in terms of risk, to be the worst case scenario and you can plan for the worst case scenario and it does not happen, you're always going to be better off. But if the worst case happened and you did not prepare for it, uh, you're going to have a problem. Okay, so uh, let's assume that there is a tsunami. What's his alternative? And uh, basically, this is what he says. He says that um, the, what people thought would happen is not busy happening. Uh, in short, that is what it, what it boils down to. And then uh, this is, to me, the, 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 the interesting part. The difference a car and a house. And he said that if you've invested a million rands in South Africa five years ago, and instead of investing it in the JSE or in he, he uses a PSG fund versus the MI Plan Global Macro Fund. Now, uh, one thing that I can tell you, first of all, I'm not a financial advisor or a plan or anything like that. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you the way that I see it and what, what I'm busy doing. Uh, so I... I I do not invest in any unit trust or any stocks here in South Africa or any, uh, let's call it, mutual funds overseas uh, because I believe that with a little bit of experience and a little bit of training and a little bit of, of uh, knowledge, you can outperform any fund manager, not only in South Africa, but worldwide. And it's actually your responsibility to take that up because uh, what they are teaching at the universities and at the uh, financial institutions is, uh, according to me, a lot of nonsense, and I think I can prove that with my portfolios. Right, but um, let's let's see the, the outcome. So if you've taken your money and you invested in this global fund, uh, your money would be worth uh, just over 2 million, 2 million and 36,000 rand. If you invested in the PSG equity fund, it would be worth 769,000 rand. I'd like to, to offer you an alternative or you know, with hindsight, it's always, always easy to, to say what we should have done. And uh, by the way, um, about 25 years ago or so, I, I retired as a, as a financial planner. And what I've seen uh, during that time in my life was that if a financial planner advises you to do something, first question, ask him if he's actually done it. You know, they will advise you to invest in in, in a specific fund, and, and then when you check it, you'll see that they haven't invested in it. And so with hindsight, it's, it's easy. It's, it's a little bit more difficult to say but what's going to happen in the future. And uh, no one knows what's going to happen in the future. For that reason, uh, maybe the way that I'm looking at it is, is asymmetrical investments. In other words, I want a huge, huge upside uh, with a little bit of risk uh, if things do not work out uh, according to plan. And for that reason, uh, I'd like to, to take you uh, through uh, this little story. So the, the comparison that is made here is uh, a million invested in the MI Global uh, Macro Fund, uh, two million, uh, just over two million, and the PSG. Now, what about an alternative? And that is a Bitcoin. Now, I know that 90% of the people are going to say, honest, but you're crazy, and I'm going to know that 
100% of all the financial planners and advisors and fund managers out there are going to say I'm crazy. But just just humor me for a, for a moment and let's quickly have a look if you've invested five years ago. So five years, the 1st of June, uh, the BTC price at that point in time, uh, $225.80. And, and by the way, I'll, I'll give you, this is according to CoinMarketCap, uh, I'll give you all the links in the description so that you can verify and check this out. Don't take my word for it. The uh, rand versus dollar at that point in time was 7 rand 68 that you had to pay for a dollar. Uh, if we look at the situation today, we're going to find that uh, BTC is uh, $9,461. And the um, exchange, uh, this is actually not today. This was on the 1st of June. And I, and I think that he refers back to it because... Uh, if you read the article, you'll see what I mean. Uh, that was 17 rands, 10 cents for, uh, I think this morning it's just under 17 rands for a, a dollar. So that's the first thing. Now, let's break that down. Uh, now, by the way, I'm not giving advice. I'm not telling you that you should do and uh, you should ne not have done what I'm going to tell you. But to do a comparison, uh, this is what, I, what I'm trying to do. So on the 1st of, of, of June 2015, a Bitcoin price 225, uh, the exchange. So if you invested a million, you could get $130,208. And if you bought a Bitcoins for that, it would give you 576.65 something of uh, Bitcoins. Now, let's bring that back uh, to today. So if you've got 576 Bitcoins uh, at $9,461, uh, it means that you've got $5.4 uh, million. Dollars. Right, if we t bring this back to rands at 1710, it means you've got, you've got 93 million rands. And, and that is the difference, and this is what we call asymmetrical. Now, what do I mean with asymmetrical? There's a, there's a principle that I like to apply. Uh, first of all, let's quickly have a comparison here. So it's 2 million versus 93 million. Now, of course, you would not do that all. But if you've invested only 5%, and I, I, if I can make a suggestion, whenever you go into cryptos, do not invest more than 5% because of this asymmetrical uh, structure that you can do. You don't need to invest more than 5% to get an incredible, incredible growth. And according to me and where my money is, is that this is going to continue. In fact, compared to South Africa, I think it's going to be even better uh, than what we are doing because of the rand dollar fluctuation. Right. So 5% would give you still a, a 4.66 million rands. And then you can take the rest and you can say, OK, but I can invest a little bit in South Africa and I can invest in the global fund, like Magnus is saying. Uh, perfect. Uh, but... But in terms of the return, you're still far better off in, in doing so. Now, uh, my money, uh, whenever I invest, uh, there's a, a principle that I follow. If I invest in property or in a business or in cryptocurrency, the, the, the principle that I follow is a ruler's principle. And uh, I explain this and I can give you a free training. Uh, I'll give you the link just now. But you need to be rational. In other words, that's the reason why I say don't put all your eggs in one basket, especially on high risk like, like, like uh, cryptocurrency. You need to understand, uh, do not invest simply because someone else says that this is going to be a great investment or a good investment. Understand it. Put in the time and the effort. If you're, if you're not willing to put in the time and the effort, uh, you're going to burn your fingers. And, and it's, it's no one's fault. It's going to be your, your fault because you did not do what you were supposed to do. And that is the reason why the majority of people are poor in South Africa or struggling, because they listen to damn financial advisors that do not do what they say uh, themselves, what they uh, other people sh should do. Now, of course, you get excellent and brilliant uh, financial planners, and they believe in what they do, but look at their results personally, and then uh, decide not on how many policies they sell or how many unit trusts they sell, uh, and investments they do, uh, look at the, the growth and then uh, make a decision. You need to love what you're doing. I love uh, cryptos and in a, a webinar, I'll explain to you why I love it and uh, why I think it's it's part of, at least it's an alternative and it's a solution. There's an event busy happening right now, actually for the last um, more than a year. Uh, and uh, that is 
uh, of developing what we call a fear factor and, and maybe let me uh, I'll, I'll take you to it just now so on that fear factor at the moment we are at the 85 percent fear factor and it's a well-known fact that when everyone is fearful that's the time to buy and when everyone is greedy that's the time to sell now i'm not into this crypto story on the short term i'm not a, a trader i'm an investor in other words i'm there for the long term and i'm using this ruler principle each and every one of my positions that i'm taking uh, i've gone through this process in order to determine if that thing should be in my my portfolio and then i'm using uh, asymmetrical uniform uh, investment strategy and i explain all of that during the webinar and, and stuff like that and then uh, reduce your base in other words um, if something is worth a thousand and you know that is what it's worth and the market says it's worth a hundred and you know that the market is not lacquered then <laughs> then uh, i'm prepared to take that risk because the upside is so high and that is one of the reasons why you could get that kind of growth and then the story or the system unless you're going to have a system uh, and you understand the story in, in other words uh, 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 bitcoin is not about bitcoin it's about the blockchain and if you understand what's busy happening on the on the blockchain in in the world and the progress that is happening there you'll understand why uh, so many people are saying uh, look at cryptocurrencies so another thing um, uh, perhaps let's get back um, this is where you can learn more about the rulers principle by Dreyer crypto strategy it is something that i do not use this as i've said only for cryptos i'm using it for property for business as well as for cryptos and all all kinds of cryptos um, i've mentioned this before i've developed this a psychological indicator and the psychological indicator at the moment there is at 85 percent the fear factor which simply means that the, the time to get into cryptos uh, I, I i think is uh, the time is is, is right uh, to get into cryptos right and then uh, i'd like to to offer you disruptive profits uh, there's the link i'll put all of that in the description if you want to find out more about cryptocurrencies and what we're doing and why we do whatever we do so that is basically what I want to bring to you today. And with that, I'm going to say cheers and I'll see you next time.